A July photo of industry pen in St. Anne, Jamaica. Right now, it is being destroyed to extract bauxite because of corruption. Jamaica does not get a dollar for the millions of tons of bauxite and alumina that are exported. However, mining is expanding. Some of the lies and collusion are laid bare here. We are repeatedly told that mining is critical for economic growth and development. We are told about US billion dollar earnings. Now, there are four foreign owned mining companies operating in Jamaica and all our revenues are from these companies. Jamaica doesn't sell bauxite, they do. So the billions in revenue that we allegedly receive must come from them. The revenue is derived from the bauxite levy, which is the tax on the amount of bauxite mined. So how much money do we get? Well, in July 2021, the Minister of Mining said that only one company is required to pay the levy, just one. Therefore, three of the companies are selling our bauxite and not giving us a dollar. So the people have been lied to. The question is, how long has this exploitation been going on for and when will it end? Well, this information can be found in the Ministry of Finance's Fiscal Policy Papers. An FPP has data about the history and projection of revenues and grants. The table is from the current financial year 2023 to 24, and the figures are in Jamaican dollars. The fat zeros verify the statement made by the minister and brings into question the credibility of the PM. Millions of tons of bauxite are mined and given away every year. In 2019, Mining earned 814.5 million US, but we got nothing. And as you can see, all the miners will be getting free bauxite from 2025. The four figures are attributed to Windalco and total 35 million US, which is for unpaid levies. So Windalco is not actually paying for the bauxite that they're mining. They're selling our bauxite and using some of that money to repay their $35 million debt. We cannot benefit from this arrangement. Industry, the government is to give up some 10 million US dollars in bauxite levy payments from Wendalco over the next two years. Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark told Parliament this afternoon that the company approached the government stating that it was on the brink of closure and in need of assistance. Payroll for Windalco on an annual basis is 24 million US dollars. 24 million US dollars on an annual basis that goes to 600 Jamaicans. And that is what is at risk. If the plant closes, that 24 million US dollars that comes in every year to pay Jamaicans would go to zero. And what we are giving up in order to ensure that those jobs are saved is an amount. Uh, of five million dollars approximately so it's five million dollars that you give up but we keep 24 million dollars per year of jobs in jamaica jamaica earns roughly 150 million us dollars in foreign exchange through alumina exports from windalco tvj is a major source of government misinformation the truth is windalco has had its debt cut by 10 million dollars from the fpp it appears that Windalco has already paid around 25 million of the 35 million debt. So going forward, the company will not contribute another dollar to the running of the country. The excuse given for destroying the country is employment, but the numbers provided by the finance minister proves that greed is the reason. A $24 million wage bill divided by 600 delivers an average wage of 40 grand US per annum. That is over 6 million Jamaican dollars per year. That's utter garbage. Very, very few Jamaicans earn 6 million, but these 6 million dollar workers were on strike a few months ago, and one reason why was a non payment of a 30 grand educational grant. No one earning over 6 million is going to strike for 30 grand. No one. If workers are striking for non-payment of 30 grand, I doubt that they're earning a million. I met a worker earning less than $350 per hour. Now, the US 24 million bill is for contracts, which includes wages. So, if the average wage is a million bucks per annum, 
the wage bill would be 600 million Jamaican dollars. That is around 4 million US, which would leave 20 million for the local contractors. If parliamentarians are involved in mining, for instance, if they own trucks that haul the bauxite, it is a conflict of interest and they should be stripped of their assets and be behind bars. The major organized crime and anti-corruption agency MOCA needs to investigate immediately. Mining can be divided into two distinct industries. One, selling bauxite and alumina to make money. That is the industry foreign investors are involved in and they have all the benefits. The other industry involves the irreparable destruction to get the bauxite, plus the poisoning of the people and the land to process it into alumina. This is what Jamaica is involved in and we are not being compensated for the monumental damage caused by the activities. In 2021, a study put the minimum cost at 18 billion US per annum. Here is the reality. The foreign mining companies do not pay tax in Jamaica. They pay tens of millions of USD to contractors who employ thousands of poorly paid Jamaicans who believe the lie that mining aids economic growth and development. But in reality, the workers are destroying communities and sections of the island because of greed. And the effects are far reaching. When dry time come down, you have a lot of dust blow come over. When dust are blow come over, as close as me with it to you, me can't see you. I need something there. And you see when time night time come, me don't know what kind of chemical are where they have a release from over there. One night when time me, then I might better sleep. When me smell that one stink up, when time me say stink, man, it stink unbearable. So same time me wake up for my boyfriend and me say to him, say, Go on, you smell that they sent there. I go and say yes, he smell it. In night, me have to get up and throw this insectant in all corners of the house. To get out the scent out of there, to get a relief from the scent. Me don't know what they might do over there, but Master was slowly but surely I got dead under them and mine him something at dung in a Marsville. The water them polluted with him can get a nice cup of water for drink like a one time. Nothing can go on for it down yourself. Not a thing does mash up your plants, your crops, your plant to Kalalu. So you will get it in yam, you can't get it eat for wet. When you wake up in the morning, I'll be a white dust step on you when I know the white one or the red one. They really need to do something about the dust. They really and truly need to do something. See, we there are going to do a little farming now. We saw one bed around there. By the time you look again, see dry time come, you know, say it does go blow. And by the time you look, the whole of the bed go just start burn down, clean, not even look for me, you can do. If you help yourself. So it affects you a lot? A lot, a whole heap, whole heap. And when you call and you complain, it don't make no sense. Because when time they come, then take one sample. By the time you reach up at all part, by the time they reach all part, you hear, say, I know for them does blow. So I want to affect with them what is affecting us they really need to do something dust is no joke according to the world health organization there is no safe level for it pause the video to read about some of the ailments associated with mining skin lung and heart conditions dementia cancers asthma is incurable and results in a life dependent on medication which the vast majority cannot afford Severe attacks can kill, and because there are no roads or ambulances, a high mortality rate can be expected in Jamaica. The parliamentarians are fully aware of these issues, but allowed Windalco to build their poison pond beside Charlemont High School, which has a population of over 1,400 students per staff. The school is in the bottom right corner. No more proof is needed in regards to the contempt that the JLP and the PMP have for the people. None. We are the descendants of slaves, so we will always be considered expendable. We have no value. The priority of the sellout parliamentarians is to make money for foreigners, and we the people are collateral damage. It would be an understatement to say that Jamaica is being abused. Fat lies were told and numbers fabricated to overturn an injunction to expand mining and this will be covered in part two.